It's been 10 years since Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone. And today, Apple unveiled its newest models with what its current CEO calls the biggest leap forward since that first device. The company is throwing a lot of money behind technology it sees as the future, augmented reality, or AR. Our tech reporter, Matthew Braga, was at the unveiling and joins us now. So Matt, tell us more, what, what is augmented reality or AR? Yeah, so augmented reality is this layering of digital information onto the physical world, right? In this case, as viewed through the lens of your smartphone's camera. Now, it's actually been around for a long time, but, you know, Apple has sort of come along and uh, is trying to actually bring this technology mainstream. So today, you know, they've got its new uh, iPhone 8, its new iPhone X, or iPhone 10 as it's called. Uh, and both of these have, you know, more powerful sensors, more powerful cameras, software, and things like that built into it. And they're betting that this is going to help take that augmented reality experience to the next level, right? It's actually going to make this palatable for sort of regular users. And so they offered a few examples on stage of, uh, you know, what that next level actually looks like, right? So there was a 3D game, uh, sort of this powerful stargazing experience that kind of maps to the sky. Uh, and then this really interesting experience for Major League Baseball, right? That kind of puts information above players' heads while you're watching the game. They say it's totally going to change the way that you watch baseball. So it all sounds very cool, but are there practical applications too? Not that that's not practical. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, until now, a lot of these experiences have been games. They've been sort of experiences like the Snapchat, you know, hot dog and then face filters and things. But developers have actually been spending the last few months trying to make this stuff a little bit more practical, trying to find those sort of useful examples, right? So, you know, we've seen examples of, of a virtual tape measuring app, right, that, uh, you know, you can use to kind of measure objects. Uh, IKEA has been working to update its app so you can kind of see how furniture fits into your house before you actually go buy it. Uh, and you've got companies that are, you know, working on creating sort of menus that sort of visualize what the food looks like on your table before you actually uh, order it. And, you know, what's important to remember is a lot of analysts and industry watchers basically say that these are kind of just stepping stones, right, to the sort of things that, you know, Microsoft and Google are working on, these head-mounted displays, these goggles, that'll actually be, you know, even more immersive, right? You'll be able to use your hands, you'll be able to kind of look through uh, sort of this device that sits on your face. Uh, and, you know, it's really being pitched as sort of, you know, not just the future of fun, but the future of work, right? So imagine, you know, instead of having to Google how to fix a drain, you've just got the instructions right there on front of your face. Face. Now, that's way off in the future, but what we have for now is Apple looking at how to bring those experiences to, you know, the hundreds of millions of devices that people already have in their pockets. And all this for just $1,000 U.S. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds exciting, though. Thanks so much, Matt. Matthew Braga in Thank California. You.